Ms. Mosby, were you surprised by the verdict? About six weeks after former city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby was convicted in federal court on two counts of perjury, the process to revoke her law license is now officially underway. And her peers did the asking. Maryland's Attorney Grievance Commission filed the paperwork on Friday, asking the state Supreme Court to immediately suspend Mosby because she was convicted of a serious crime, a violation of ethics rules for attorneys in our state. If Marilyn Mosby is suspended from the practice of law, she will not be able to do anything in terms of what a lawyer normally would do, that is represent people, work in a law office, speak with clients. Andrew Slutkin is a partner at Silverman Thompson. He and his firm are not working on the Mosby case, but he frequently represents lawyers in grievance and other ethical matters and for many years served on the peer review committee of Maryland's Attorney Grievance Commission. It's critical that the public understand that there is someone, in this case the Attorney Grievance Commission of Maryland, overseeing lawyers and ensuring that if they're doing something wrong, someone's watching and ensuring that if the lawyer is convicted of something serious, that that lawyer can no longer practice. We also spoke with Maryland Bar Counsel Tom Dugonia, who filed the petition against Mosby on Friday. Dugonia told 11 News he had no comment beyond what's in the petition, which requests Maryland Mosby be suspended immediately from the practice of law pending the imposition of sentence and entry of a judgment of conviction. Marilyn Mosby can fight this pe petition. If it's granted, it would be a temporary suspension pending the outcome of an expected appeal. Mosby's federal public defender, James Wida, has today yet to respond to our request for comment. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.